It's a misty Colorado morning today, and I'm about to go take an econ test on a topic that I'm still very confused about. So, wish me the best of luck, and I'll see you guys in about two hours. That first deep breath of fresh air, even after you probably just bombed a test, is still great to be done. I am gonna go hit the gym now, get out my frustration. Shoulders and chest are done. I am now moving on to triceps. I heard my name. Did you call me? Did you speak truth? When you dug ones, when you spill blood, did you say that? All right, done with triceps, and now I'm going to do a seven minute ab routine that my vegan friend Gabby showed me the other day. I'll show you guys the time lapse. It's really brutal, no rest, um, and it takes about seven or eight minutes to do. tricep and shoulder day, I burned 700 calories. That does not look good. It's about to rain. I am heading home, gonna eat some ice cream, and then rush over to the arts and crafts studio where I'll be for the next few hours. All right, just watching myself in an interview on the Symbiotic Solutions YouTube channel. My buddy Rainey just put it up. He interviewed me about why I'm vegan, bodybuilding, all that stuff on his channel. It's us at the Woodstock Fruit Festival. Go check it out. I'm also eating my nice cream here before heading to screen printing. The best kind of rain when it just pours for like an hour and then it's just sunny and fresh smelling. I'm happy. Okay, I'm gonna print my first two t-shirts. Let's see how this goes. Have you done a test yet? Yeah! That's a beast. All right, round one went okay. I learned a few things, and we're on to round two. All right, guys, the shirts are officially in production. Hand crafted design that I made. Will you guys buy these shirts? Leave in the comments below. If you want me to sell these shirts on the Plantriotic website, I will, but I'll only do it if you guys tell me to. So, my Meat is Murder shirt has a rip in it. And I'm gonna sew it up right here. Quarter to a third. Um, 
So obviously I use like a dollar bill when I size my wallet and then I just like the fibers like that. And then this one I've been doing like that. So yeah, I think Alright, just spent the last two and a half hours in arts and crafts, and I would have liked to spend another two hours making pottery, but I don't have that many hours in the day to get everything I need to get done, so I'm going home now for the night. I'm gonna work on my Watson Fellowship proposal, record Q&A for you guys. You know what, let's do that now. Alright, it is pretty getting pretty dark out and also potentially gonna dump rain, um, but it's also beautiful. Look at those cloud formations. But I'm gonna do the Q&A. I got a lot of really good questions. Uh, Skylar McKinney asked me, do you ever think that you will start eating raw again and when is the next time you're in SoCal? Love the vids, man. Peace. Um, will I ever eat fully raw again? I hope so. I hope one day when I am living in Hawaii and I'm no longer like focused on like lifting really heavy and building muscle mass, but maybe just maintaining. I would like to go back to eating a fully raw diet, maybe for another year or maybe even longer term. I think I'll never have the thing where like, when I was raw this, you know, for like almost a full year, a few months ago, the, like if I ate cooked foods, it was like game over, I lose, I broke this streak. I never want to be like that anymore because I don't think that's healthy, but eating like, pretty much raw all the time. Maybe when you're traveling, you have to eat a potato, that's fine. But yes, I hope to go back to eating a pretty much fully raw diet when I'm living in the tropics, but not now. Uh, okay, Wayne Hoover asked me, what are your thoughts on soy and its high phytoestrogen count with regards to your weight training? And he says he tends to stay away from them. Um, it's a complete bullshit myth that the phytoestrogens in soy, like tofu and tempeh and edamame, are gonna impede your gains. Look at Tori Washington. He's a professional vegan bodybuilder. He eats like more soy, like he's, his staple is soy uh, tofu in terms of protein. He has some of the most gains of any vegan bodybuilder around. So no, the phytoestrogen, which is not actual estrogen that messes with your hormones. Um, soy is a completely healthy food. I eat it every single day. You can too. There's also a trend that communities around the world that eat like two or three servings of soy a day, predominantly rural Asian women, have some of the longest longevity. So I say eat as much tofu as you want. It's not gonna impede your gains. It's going to help you make gains. That's proof from vegan bodybuilders. All right, great question from Mariana Younger. How do you keep your motivation going after realizing the huge task we have in front of us to stop animal suffering? That is a really tough and easy question to answer. So every single time you get someone or influence someone to eat less meat, you are tangibly helping an animal that would have been eaten if you didn't help them. So on a day-to-day -day basis, I get friends and family members and people emailing me and telling me, hey, I had a vegan meal, or hey, I'm going vegan. And the fact that that's even happened to like maybe 50 people in my life so far is enough to not have to worry about this, about the big picture, the biggest picture that still billions of animals are suffering. I try to just think day to day, like I helped one animal today or maybe 20 or 30 animals from the people I've influenced from, you know, being tortured and being killed. Every time somebody eats a vegan meal, they're paying for less meat to be produced by these companies because you guys have to remember, if every single person refused meat tomorrow, it wouldn't be on the shelf the next day because it's supply and demand. They're not gonna produce these animals unless we keep demanding them and eating them. So I just think about you know trying to change one animal's life day to day at a time and that's how I just stay motivated and know that what I'm doing has an actual impact even though you know the actually succeeding as a vegan activist is something that's very daunting that almost you can't even comprehend. Uh, this is an interesting question from See How I Do is her YouTube channel and she asked me um, how have you gained such a big following? I've been on food Instagram for two years, started a YouTube channel, but it's having a hard time to grow. See, I have so many friends that have 20,000 you know, YouTube subscribers, 50,000 on Instagram, so I don't even consider myself somebody that has a massive following, but sure, it's growing and it's working and I'm very grateful. I, I really am for you guys to support it, it's amazing. Um, but the way that you do it is through networking. That's how it happens. You make friends you know, with people who have 
big followings and accounts and you show that you um, you know have good stuff that you're producing content that you're producing and you inspire other people to help you out and shout you out that's what I like to do I shout out my friends I talk about different YouTube channels like symbiotic solutions and so it's just through networking that's how the business works it's just like Hollywood business or an entertainment business you use not not use but you benefit off of maybe your friends who have bigger followings who believe in you to you know make that happen and so you just meet more people you network with people you know I just shouted you out you write comments on people's YouTube channels like that's really how how it happens okay that's it for the Q&A this week I think that was a really good Q&A diverse amount of questions so again leave more questions for next week in the comments below Big green salad time. Got some nori on top, some spinach, tomato, romaine, avocado. It's gonna be very good. Ten o'clock. Just got a lot of good work done on my Watson proposal. Once I'm like really formulated with that and I have a pretty good draft, I'll like find a way to give a link to you guys on Google Docs or something so you can see what I'm applying for. It's going to be awesome if they grant it to me. It's very competitive though. So I'm headed to the library now to edit the vlog, hopefully upload it because I have a really fun day tomorrow which I'm going to vlog again and give it to you guys on Friday. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be late night, probably midnight or one o'clock, but that's the grind if you want to change the world and do awesome stuff. All right, it's midnight. I've got a lot of good work done and I'm heading out now. I'm gonna go eat some grapes and go to bed. <sighs> this is my I'm tired and I overwork myself, but I'm also like blissed out in the amount of stuff I get done face. All right, it is 12.30. I've responded to my YouTube comments. I've done my emails. I've done my homework. I have not started editing the vlog. That's just, I need energy and positive vibes for that. I'm tired. I'm gonna go to bed. Um, today marks the 16 day countdown until Izzy comes and visits me. I went and visited her in Berkeley, as you guys know, a couple weeks ago. She's coming to this house to visit me! But it's gonna be really cold probably by the time she comes. Not, it's gonna be like October 16th, so like, starting to get really cold. But it's nice that it's almost October and we get to start that countdown because I miss her. I miss having her with me and it's gonna be super nice. Um, so until the next vlog, my beautiful plant loving, plant interested people out there, peace out, much love, dream extreme, for real.